People here had been wishing for the rains to start, but when they finally came, they brought destruction. In early October, days of monsoon rains left large parts of eastern India underwater. Much of the harvest was destroyed, and hundreds of thousands of people were left homeless. The water destroyed our homes. We have hardly any food and drinking water. The government must find a solution. If things don't change in the next years, I don't know how we can go on living here. The weather looked quite different in 2002. That year, the monsoon rains hardly came at all to parts of India. That caused a terrible drought. The monsoon has become more extreme. But when the seasonal weather phenomenon is moderate and predictable, it is the life-giving water source for the country's farms. More than 500 million people, around half of the Indian population, rely on the monsoons to irrigate their fields. In Germany, at the Institute for Climate Impact Research in Potsdam, Jakob Schiever wants to find out why the monsoon is becoming more erratic. The young physicist is attempting to model its behavior. The irregularities that we are currently seeing in the Indian monsoon are probably related to human-induced climate change, in the sense that the extreme occurrences have been accumulating over the past decades. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide make the air over the Indian subcontinent heat up more in the summer months. The moisture-laden air from the sea then moves in, releasing large amounts of precipitation, like the rains that fell in October in the southeast of the country. But Jakob Sheva's model also incorporates an effect that appears to work in the opposite direction. Aerosols, fine particles of soot from industrial facilities or from forest fires, reflect radiation from the sun. That cools the air masses over India, causing the monsoon to die down but the interaction of the two tendencies is highly complex. You can't just balance the two effects against each other. It's not a simple formula, like greenhouse gases, stronger monsoon, aerosols, weaker monsoon. Add them together, you get zero. To the contrary, the monsoon is not a linear system, and if I cross some threshold with respect to aerosol emissions, the monsoon may change or even break down abruptly. If major factors involved in the weather phenomenon like greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution are not reduced, India will have to brace for more extreme monsoon conditions in the years to come.